What's going on guys, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at a Valheim, uh, kind of like a town hall, like kind of great hall build, and as you can see, uh, this is done uh, right in front of you, it's like relatively big, I don't think it's like the biggest thing I've seen by any means, but it's big enough to, you know, house like you, like a full uh, group of friends on a server or whatever you want to do with it. And honestly, I got inspiration from uh, Reddit, from YouTube. So there's quite a few things that uh, I got inspiration from. This wasn't just completely off the top of my head, but I will say building a structure that, as you can see, is like one, two, three, four, like 10 stories high or like 10 like walls high, I guess you want to call it, is somewhat difficult. But Overall, it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna go over how to build every single thing in this video, but if you guys want that, definitely let me know. I could go over something similar to that, but honestly, it took me like hours to build this thing and it took a lot of just trial and error. So that's why I didn't record the original building of this just because it took so long. But other than that, getting right into the build, I'm gonna show you guys the tour of the little great hall or whatever you wanna call it. And just go over like some things like how I built it, go over the inside and everything like that. But real quick, gonna check up if the bees are happy, and they indeed are. So I'm gonna change like some of these things about my base, like maybe get rid of this tower, and eventually I'm gonna switch this. That's just kind of like our original starting base on this server. But this is the first build build that uh, I did on this server. So this is actually my first biggest build on uh, Valheim in general. So it was quite difficult, um, and as you can see. I did have to do quite a bit of terraforming around the edge of this. So quickly, I'll show you guys the outside. And there are still some things I want to change inside and out. Maybe like maybe do something about this wall over here. Like it's kind of cool looking with the sides and stuff, but it is pretty boring. And then if we go around to the back, I think eventually I am going to extend out this back. But right now it's just kind of like an outdoor indoor type area. And like I said, this whole thing is fenced in, which I highly recommend doing on any build or terraform it in a way that... Uh, it can't get attacked by mobs because they do attack it from time to time. And then as you can see, there is a little curve out here. I was going to do the same thing on the other side, but I decided not to because the like the terraforming, the land was just annoying on that side. And that is the entire outside. So if I go up and around right here. And one other thing I will say before I go to the inside, this did take a ton of wood. So as you can see, there are some core wood structures throughout it. Like this is a log and normal wood structure. And it took a ton of normal wood. Like I literally think it took like, like eight full chests of normal wood. And then probably at least like 10 full stacks of core wood. So it did take quite a bit of wood. But wood isn't super difficult to get in this game. So coming in, uh, you get your entrance here. And as you can see, there's a ton of logs going up and down everywhere. And that is because, I'll show you guys later on, it is extremely difficult to make a building like this due to the physics in the game. But when you walk in right here, uh, you go to the bonfire in the middle, which actually does raise your comfort level quite a bit. So comfort is important to sleeping. And honestly, I just like the bonfire. I wasn't going to do a normal fire, but... Uh, I decided to do the bonfire rather than just like an assortment of random fires uh, in the middle there. Uh, there is a troll trophy right there. So I guess I'll go like part by part of this. So this little area over here is just a little like sleeping area for whoever's like visiting the great hall. There's a little table with little food on it. So how to do this, you actually just put an item stand, a vertical item stand I'm pretty sure works for this. Then you just put whatever item you want. Only certain items link in. And same with these. These are just item stands that are horizontal ones, ones that lock on the walls with stuff on it. And again, you can only put certain things on there. But this is a little sleeping area, a little gathering area for whoever wants to stay here. Over here, I'm not 100% what it, sure what I want to do. I might do the same thing as over here, add more beds and stuff for people on the server. Or I might just do something completely different. I don't know. I'm still deciding what I want to do in this little area right here. Um, down this hallway, I might add more tables. I don't know yet. Problem is I don't have a lot of fine wood. So all the fine wood is used for like furniture and stuff like that. So this is kind of like the main dining area, which took uh, quite a bit of fine wood. And then back here, I'm either going to extend this out a little bit further or maybe do something else back here. I was kind of wanting to do like an indoor archery, or archery range back here. I thought that would look cool. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any ideas in the comment section below about what I should do in certain parts of this building. Like I said, the inside and outside aren't nearly done. Then this area, I'll probably just put more chairs and stuff like that. One other thing I'm kind of waiting for is we just got iron. So I kind of am waiting for um, 
to get iron so that we can make stone structures because that would make this place look a lot cooler. And then in here is like my little bedroom, the master bedroom right here. So that's kind of why I made this area. I was debating on doing it on the other side or not, but um, you know, I kind of like this little area right here. So I might add it to the other side. Might not, still deciding with that. But like I said, I still have quite a bit of room to build in this place. So overall, I like the feel of it. Uh, I like the little banners up there too. Kind of reminds me of like a Skyrim type like in build here. Got some logs so I could fuel the fire. That's more for like aesthetic purposes. I'm not actually gonna use those logs to build it. And then this place does actually have a second floor. So up here is the top floor. I guess you could call it the second floor even though it's like all the way up at the top. You can kind of like view outside. I tried to make little windows up here. And uh, as you can see, it's decorated uh, in a similar way to the downstairs. Probably gonna put another table or something over here for people to sit at. And then, like I said, it got these little windows and you can kind of see better if you're actually sitting on a bench right here. So you can see out, pretty cool. And then over here is just a, another bedroom, not really my bedroom, just whoever's bedroom they want it to be. And this is the upstairs, but I will say, so building this thing was extremely difficult. And if I actually take out my hammer tool right here, as you can see, this stuff up here is red. And building the roof and building the top part was the hardest. I don't know how this is standing up right now because I believe like most of this stuff is like not as dark red as it can be because it's still up and it has been up for many days. So um, in general, when you're building like green means it's good. Like if it's just a pure green it means it's good. I believe sometimes it could be blue as well. But when it starts getting yellow, that means the structure is a little bit unstable. Orange is even more so. And then it goes from red to like a dark red. And I, I think these are the darkest red it can be. But somehow they're still up. I don't know. I'll take it. They, they didn't fall yet. And I don't think they're going to anytime soon. So I'm just going to keep it as it is and just kind of go with it. I might try to add more support beams to it. But honestly, I don't think I can add too many more without, again, just weighing down the structure. So... I was afraid to put too many tables up here because a lot of these are yellow or red. I wasn't sure how that would turn out, but so far it's been all right. And in general, as you can see, these support beams are literally support beams. Like they are not there for aesthetic purposes. They have to be there in order to actually hold this whole thing up. So they do go all the way to the ground as well, which is important to note. So in general in this game, in order to build something up like high like this, you just basically need things to be touching the ground and you need quite a few of them and as you can see i did a lot of angling in here so in general i did a log beam going up i did also one touching the ground because this is slightly elevated and then i did 45 degree beams going up to the top two more log beams across and then 45 degree beams going down as well and then i had to connect them all the way through the house so this is just like the general thing that i did throughout um, as you can see, there's more 45 beams going through this entire thing. And it did take quite some time to do and quite a bit of trial and error because in general, like it is just not easy to build in this game. Like it is extremely difficult to actually build tall and build big structures. I don't know how people are doing insanely tall ones unless it's just completely like a vertical tower or something like that. Cause like this is as big as I think I could build. Like I tried to build it taller and tried to build it bigger, but I mean, sure, I could just duplicate this and expand it outward, but like I couldn't do much more than this. In general, it was somewhat difficult, but it was fun. It took some time, but you know, it, it was it was fun. This is probably the most fun I've had playing a game in quite some time. So again, hopefully I don't die. Okay, I almost just died from doing that. But in general, uh, the build was fun. It was difficult, it took a lot of wood, but it's definitely very doable. But I will say it will take a considerable amount of time and a considerable amount of wood. And I actually made like a little tree farm, which you can't really see because it's nighttime anymore. But the sky in this game is actually like super nice. And so, same with like that tree of life thing that they got going on. But this was done, uh, you could definitely do it in the beginning of the game. The only thing you're probably gonna wanna get is a bronze ax. So as you can see, I have all bronze materials. I have no iron right now, materials at least. We did finally find a crypt in the swamp biome, but I think it looks pretty cool at night too. Uh, eventually, once we get more iron, I'm gonna add a ton of stone stuff in there and a ton of uh, just iron decorations because I think they do look pretty cool as well. But other than that, guys, is really it for this video. Uh, definitely let me know what you think about this. Uh, I really like the build a lot. I think it looks cool. It wasn't super difficult, but it definitely wasn't easy. It took some time. And honestly, after doing this one, I probably 
understand the physics of the game a lot better so i think i'll be a lot better off the next time i do a build but uh, other than that guys i hope you guys enjoyed if you did definitely leave a like and like i said earlier in the video definitely leave comments on what you think i should do next because there are uh, quite a few things in here that I could add to. And there's also quite a few builds that I want to do as well. I think I'm going to make a portal room at some point. But uh, before I do that, I think I might have to do some grinding and get some iron. So other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed.